Brian. The sound of his own name made his heart stop. And it was like that moment, the one where the mind thinks that it has heard the rumble of thunder, but isn't wholly sure, and has to wait for the flash of lightning to confirm it. The silver flash came and struck him repeatedly, jagged and searing hot, and the black storm cloud turned red before his eyes. D.I. Peter Nation is a man consumed, consumed by one thing, the hunting down of the serial killer known only as Dust Jacket, who leaves a book cover nailed to the chest of each of his victims. In his attempt to track down Dust Jacket, the D.I. is thwarted at every turn, almost as if the killer was looking over his shoulder. When victim number 16, the famous author Matthew Herringbone, is found mutilated, Nation receives a tantalizing clue to the identity of Dust Jacket, but simply nothing adds up, especially when someone who he wasn't expecting to see shows up on the CCTV footage. Dust Jacket remains elusive, practically invisible, and despite his diligence, the DI is struggling to see things clearly. Is it a case of not seeing the wood for the trees, or is he just so weary that even the obvious answers appear as spectral as Dust Jacket himself? The press is demanding answers, and Nation is forced off the case, making way for new boy James Capsicum. However, in beginning a clandestine affair with the latest victim's literary agent, Derek Battersea, D.I. Nation unwittingly starts a chain reaction which ultimately brings about the unmasking of the killer. But only after all eyes have turned to the one person whom everyone has overlooked. Dust Jacket, written by Alp Mortal and Chambers Mars, published by the Carter Seagrove Project, LLC.